Hello. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> it's Ella. Thank you for being here with me. I am in the LA International Airport. It's very loud, so I apologize for that. I'm trying to keep the video since I'm literally lying on the floor with my legs up the wall. Yes, that is actually a yoga pose. Um, for the moment, it's a very important yoga pose because I'm about to be on a flight that is a whopping 16 hours. Uh, not looking forward to that, you guys. <laughs> It's on Cathay Pacific, so I don't know. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I've got all of the accoutrement to go along with it, so we shall see how it goes. When I say accoutrement, I've got like an, you know, neck pillow, an eye mask, because basically I'm going to be bedding down, as it were, to go to sleep as soon as the flight takes off to try and maintain. That's probably really loud. Anyway, I'm trying to maintain some kind of schedule, some kind of, some semblance of normalcy. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yes, I do have a mask because I'm going to, from, this flight is from LA to Hong Kong. So it's a very, very long flight and obviously going through China. Um, I do have a mask, but I'm in a quiet, the, <laughs> I legit was saying a quiet corner. It's as quiet as it's going to get here. Um, I'm in a corner. How about that? And uh, there's not really anything going on over here. So I'm going to plug in all of the devices for a while, get them back, you know, fully charged. And I'm just resting here with my legs up the wall. I can show you that actually. Okay, I hope you saw that. <laughs> ah. um, the flight from Austin to LA was 100% uneventful, thank, thank goodness. We want uneventful flights, y'all. Um, today has, today was a weird day. I woke up, you know, at a normal hour and um, I know why, and I guess, I guess it's really not that big a deal if I just go ahead and say it, but I know why. I, I'm, I've been super, super exhausted over the past several days, and that, unfortunately, that is normal for me being a middle-aged woman in perimenopause. It's normal for me to have to have extreme exhaustion about one week before my period starts. And so that is actually, I'm less than a week out now. So that's where I am. I am so bloated. I'm retaining a ridiculous amount of fluid. And so that's, that's the reason for the legs up the wall. I'm actually doing this legs up the wall before I put on my compression socks hoping to alleviate some of the pressure um, before yeah before putting on the compression socks so um, I do have a mask um, it is really hot in here <laughs> so I'm not looking forward to wearing the mask on this entire flight really not looking forward to that y'all but I'm probably going to do that so safety safety first even though it's miserably hot under the mask I just took it off so I could record this video and then I'm gonna put it right back on so anyway and because I'm lying down like this is not at all a flattering angle I'm trying to just kind of keep my whatever. I'm trying to, I'm holding my arms up in the air, first of all. 
so it's not comfortable. But I thought it might be kind of a fun, uh, a fun, you know, way or a fun angle to do the recording. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, anyway, I'm tired too. So, okay, the day. So, you know, got up, fed the dogs, took them for a walk, you know, usual stuff. And then I was just like, I am so tired, I can't function. So I took a nap and I felt better after the nap. But here's the thing. Um, that dude just walked by me. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, um, so I'm so tired. <laughs> cow and now my little Fitbit alarm is going off which whatever Ugh. never a moment's rest that's what I feel like right now I'm like never a moment's rest anyway um, so I took a nap and then the rest of the afternoon like flew by I mean it was so fast it's like, like I was literally rushing around and I have been packing in the process of packing and getting ready for days. I mean, it's like, why did it come It all, why did it come down to still being in a rush? Dang it. That seems to always be the case with me. Anytime I travel, it's like, it doesn't matter that I have like a, a pre-printed, uh, packing list you know it doesn't matter because that I'm created created for myself because I would always forget important things when I would travel so I made my own packing list to make sure that I don't forget important stuff never mind that I had that never mind that I had stuff like you know gathered but like there were still so many little things that I hadn't taken care of and they just added up and I ended up having to do it all at once all at the last minute plus there were a couple of wrenches thrown in my afternoon one of them was uh, I had a delivery that was coming to the house and it was late <laughs> and I had to have there was a, a thing that I had to have in you know in that delivery I had to have it for my trip plus there were refrigerated item or whatever stuff so it's like I had to wait for that stupid delivery before I could leave the house okay that was one thing the other thing is that my housemate failed to tell me and he forgot about it actually that his dog had a grooming appointment so it was a mobile groomer so the groomer came to the house and everything but still I had to stay available you know what I mean so it's like I had a couple of wrenches thrown in the day and but Here's the thing. So I'm all stressed out. I'm all like super anxious. Um, I did take some anti-anxiety medication that I have on hand because I was like, I, I'm not, I'm going to lose my mind if I don't. Um, like I could just feel my blood pressure going up, up, up. So anyway, um, And then I got into my Uber. I took an Uber to the airport. And this driver was, he was just so calm, so calm, so serene. And I found myself just kind of automatically just responding to that and just slowing down, slowing down my breaths you know, making sure to breathe in and fully fill my lungs and then breathe out slowly. Um, and actually, this is a good time to, uh, to tell you about, there is, there is actually a scientifically proven way to lower your heart rate and your blood pressure when you are anxious. And it is this. Um, 
when you breathe in, breathe in through your nose, um, hold your breath for a few counts if you, if you can. If, obviously, if you're like in a panic attack or you're at the edge of one, you may not be able to, and that's okay. The important, the critical thing is that your exhale is lasts longer than your inhale. So let's say that your inhale is four counts, okay? And it could be like one, two, three, four, or it can be one, two, three, four. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, as long as your out breath is longer than that, by, I'm not good with percentages. Let's say, I think it's 150%, maybe? So let's say your in breath is four counts, make your out breath a minimum of six counts, if that makes sense. So breathe in for four, and then out for six. Okay, that it doesn't have to be that exact formula. But like I said, the critical thing is that your out your exhale is longer than your inhale. Okay, so um, that's the important thing. My my camera is getting closer and closer to my face because my arms are getting tired. <laughs> anyway, all right. So anyway, so I just started consciously breathing, and I was getting a little nervous because I'm like, my flight leaves in two hours, and I'm just getting to the airport, and I was. But here's the thing, if I had had the day that I had today in Dallas, I definitely would have missed my flight, y'all. But because this is Austin, even though the traffic getting to the airport was bad, um, but because it's Austin, the Austin airport is like, it's a dream to fly out of. It's so easy. The, um, I mean, I didn't have to wait in line to check in and I had to check in at the, um, at the counter because it was, it's an international flight. I didn't have to wait to check in. The guy at the check-in counter was really nice and he was super chatty. And, um, I'm like, start, then I'm like starting to walk away. I turn around to walk away from the, the check-in counter. And there's this woman who's like, <laughs> she was so she was so close to me she was up in my business and I was like what are you doing but um yeah I was like it she also was basically acting as if I were invisible I hate it when people do that um it's like uh yo I'm right here so anyway um I felt bad for her because the way she her Everything about her was, sadly, it was like a cliche. Anyway, so then I get through security, total breeze, so quick, so easy, so unlike Dallas. And then I'm, I'm in the terminal and that's that. And it's like, oh, and I have like an hour and a half to kill, more than that. I had almost, yeah, I had an hour and a half to kill before my flight even boarded. So I was like, Okay, I'm good. So anyway, <sighs> yeah. So now my goal is just to not fall asleep before my <laughs> before my flight leaves because yeah, I don't want to. Obviously, I cannot miss this flight, and I'm not going to miss the flight. Okay, I'm just joking around. But um, there's there's a moral to this story. And that is, um, man, anxiety sucks, doesn't it? That's really the moral, is that anxiety sucks. It doesn't help you. It doesn't, it doesn't do you any good. And yet, so many of us just kind of default to anxiety. I don't have answers for that, okay? I don't have answers for it. I think that the best the best we can do is just to be aware when when you're feeling anxious and then do use your use your tools, whatever tools you have, whether it's medication, 
meditation, journaling, identifying, you know, physical things like name five red things in your vicinity. Name, you know, like find as many purple items as possible, you know, whatever. Um, you know, use your tools basically to come come down off of that anxiety and um, back into the present, back into the now. And I tell you what, that is so hard to do sometimes, and I really struggled with that today. Um, it took me being around a super calm person for me to be able to really relax. And I, and I did. I relaxed, and I was like, you know what? This guy is going to get me to the airport safely, and that is really what matters, is that I'm safe. Everything else is secondary. So. I think that's a good note to end on. I am safe. And everything else is secondary. So. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for watching this. Thank you for being here with me. And I will see you tomorrow.